I feel, I feel pretty well, man. I, I, I feel good out there, man. I'm, I'm happy to help the team, man, in any type of way, man. And it feels good to score. And it feels good to win the game. <laughs> and it, it seemed like the offense, you know, in the second quarter kind of got – going once you got in there. Did it yeah. feel like that? Yeah, it felt, it felt like that. I mean, we were trying to get going in the first quarter, but it slowed down a little bit and just had to pick up our pace, you know? Just get comfortable in the game, get comfortable with defensive line, and get it going. So talk, talk us through the whole process of your, yourself right, getting ready to play. I mean, it, Coach had mentioned in training camp that you had been medically cleared, but you were still experiencing pain. What, what was happening? I mean, um, you know, y'all know I broke my ankle, I broke my fibula bone and tore a couple of ligaments. And, I got extra bone though, so it stops my mobility a little bit. So it was kind of hard for me to bend my ankle a lot to get in my left hand stance, my right hand stance, slowed me down, got sore a lot. But right now I'm just I'm ready to go. You know, I'm comfortable now. It feels good. I feel like I worked out all the scar tissue, so I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready to go. Uh, How did it feel to actually get into a game and contribute? It, it felt good, man. I, I felt very happy out there just to play for the team, play, you know what I mean, to play with my brothers, man. And I'm excited right now to go home and just chill with my girl, relax, and enjoy the win, you know? Enjoy the win. Whoa. You, go ahead. you have more career starts than almost anyone else on the line. Uh, Do you think you should be getting back into the starting line? Uh, I mean, I'm working hard towards it, you know what I mean? And day in, day out, I guess next week we'll see. And, Next practice and the next practice. I just got to keep working. You know? How, how, how different is it for you uh, being in rotation after being a starter and now you guys are rotating, you know, a bunch of guys in? It's unusual for an offensive yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I want to play, you know what I mean? I like to play. Regardless if I'm rotating or not, I'm out there to help the team, so that's good. It's good and I'm out there. <laughs> well, what are some of the little things that you probably saw in film two weeks ago that you guys kind of cleaned up tonight? Um, I'll say as far as technique and run blocking and pass blocking, we cleaned up a lot. A lot of guys were loose on the edges and we were tighter with the technique and practice all the games and practice and stuff like that. So it was more run technique and based on pass protection was that we improved on this game that I feel like. Was that unit, were they demoralized coming out of that game two weeks ago? The offensive were they demoralized? Yeah, coming out of that game. I mean, that no, I out. mean, it's obstacles, you know. You win some, you lose some. You just got to get over and keep working, you know, and fix the things that you need to correct. So, no, nothing was demoralizing. It was, it was more of an encouragement. I need to get better. Let's go, you know. When Sark would say in the media during training camp, oh, Andre is healthy enough to play, uh, he's not in the right frame of mind to play, did that sort of thing motivate you? I don't worry about that stuff, you know, it's, it's, I don't get involved, man. I just talk to him personally and he tells me what I need to do to improve and I go for it, you know what I mean? It's more of a personal personal thing than anything. What are some of the things he would tell you that you, uh, you just need to do? Stop limping, it's in your mind, you know, just let's go, let's go, we need you, let's go, let's go. It, it helped me a lot to hear him say, stop limping, man, you got it, you mentally strong, let's go, push through it and stuff like that, it really helped me. Did you feel like you were in the doghouse for a while? <laughs> Come on. Honestly, I, I, I did, but uh, I'm happy now, man. You know, I'm happy now. The past is the past. You know, it has to be a pretty big doghouse, right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> so you played left tackle, you played guard, you played right tackle tonight. Is, which position do you think is your best one? Wherever they need me. I'm, I'm willing to help the team in any aspect. If they want me a fullback, quarterback, tight end, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm ready to play. Do you feel like you're 100% able to push off both ways now? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. It's all in the mind. Just like Coach said, it's more mental than anything. We're never going to be 100% physically. It's football. you got to be up here 100%. You know what I mean? And do you feel like you now are 100% yeah, up course. there? Yeah, I'm strong. I'm strong. Yeah. And how good did it feel you know, to be able to salt the game away with, with a couple rushing touchdowns at the I, end? I feel very good, man. Just the score and just run down there and congratulate and stuff like that, man. It feel, it feel good, man. Old memories. Bringing back new ones. When you came into the game, the offense started to click a little bit. Uh, you, think, you think there's something to that? I don't know. I got to see it on film. I got to see it for myself. <laughs> I don't know. I was out there playing, you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you do feel like you kind of got back in the groove out yeah, there tonight? Yeah. Was tonight good yeah. for you? Yeah, tonight was a good night. And, um, I mean, it wasn't the best night, but I'm looking forward to get better next week. How much, you talked about the mental aspect. How, how much has Sark kind of and Drevno, you know, kind of been, been on you about that. It's, they've been on me a lot, like from day one since they met me, since I had my injury, because when everybody get injured, anybody get injured, any athlete, 
they feel sorry for themselves. They they want to get in a you know just a little coon and just hope to themselves. No, you can't do that. You got to be willing to push through it. It's it's painful. Everything is painful. You know what I mean? You just got to get through it. It's mentally strong, like they always say, man. Always say mentally strong. Was that you in the cocoon and feeling sorry for yourself? Honestly, I'm yeah, it was, but I'm over that. I'm a new person now. You know what I mean? And I feel good. I feel good now. How'd you get over it? Them. Them helping me, talking to me day in, day out, and just pushing me. Pushing me. As a, I, I look up to them guys, man. They're, they're great coaches, man. Great coaches. Help me a lot.